In this lecture, we are going to go ahead and talk about the various extensions to the two variable linear regression model. When we talk about extensions to two variable linear regression model, ideally, we are talking about models which are closer to the linear regression model. And in fact, they are linear regression model, but they are very different from the kind of models that we have seen. Remember the way that we had defined the linear regression model. By definition, a linear regression model was anything that looked like this. Yi is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus ui. Now go back and revise and check what happens if a model looks something like this. Yi is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi squared plus ui. Is this the definition of linear regression model? The answer is yes. Because as long as my parameters are linear, I am going to go ahead and call that as a linear regression model. To go back and understand, this chapter is going to start by understanding what is the model that passes through the origin. In other terms, because the model passes through the origin, I do not have any intercept term. So either I can directly have beta one here, I can rename this as beta one. Or if you, you know, for your understanding purpose, keep this as beta two only, but there is no beta one, beta one becomes zero. We are going to understand what are the properties of such a model, followed by which we are going to understand what is the unit of measurement. When we say unit of measurement, we have to understand how, uh, you know, X affects Y when X changes by how much is Y going to change. For now, understand that the basic model that we have been talking about, which is Yi is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 Xi plus Ui. Our beta 2 has always been, you know, when X changes by one unit, Y changes by beta 2 units. We have never ever introduced anything else into the equation. However, the moment we write our model like this, ln yi is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 ln xi plus ui, which is a log log model. Or the moment we write our model as yi is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 ln xi plus ui, which is lin log model or ln yi is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus ui, which is log lin model or yi is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 1 by xi plus ui, which is reciprocal model. For all of these, the way that we are going to go ahead and interpret this would be very different. So as we go through this chapter, we are going to try and understand what are the various functional forms of linear regression model. What are the different ways in which we can go ahead and write a linear regression model? And not only that, we are going to also go ahead and understand what is the unit of measurement. How do we go about uh, interpreting beta 2 in all these models? Always remember that as long as the parameters are linear, we are talking about linear models and none of these that I have written here represents a non-linear model. All of these are linear models and you know the kind of results that we will see, the kind of interpretations that we will see, uh, the kind of applications that we will see related to the models would be very amazing and it would be actually very close to the actual applications of micro and macroeconomics.